No, I think that the, the level of competitiveness that now the football has around the world reached. I mean, there's no big and small team. Uh, in the end, in the, we have many uh, examples that were the surprises uh, of any kind of tournament. So I would say that today, with having more teams, I, my guess is that the quality of the game will even be ri rise to a better level. The whole world won. We are going to have uh, a bigger competition, and that means more co more more players on the pitch. The fact that it's been uh, criticized because of sporting, well, I, I mean, uh, I'm sure uh, I don't know how you can predict that uh, ten years uh, ten years away. So uh, that, that's a pretty bold prediction. Um, having said that. I also think that uh, I think part of, part of the responsibility as a leader in the sport is to grow the sport. I think this will grow the sport. This will create more uh, more stories in countries that never would have dreamed uh, to do that. And quite frankly, if you listen to traditions all the time, we would still be with uh, six teams in the World Cup. Obviously, other countries are ready. Commonwealth, CONCACAF, of course, Africa, yes, Asia, yes. all of them, they're supporting him. But UEFA also are trying to support behind him. Only ECA, not really happy with that decision. But all of us here, we are happy because we know Nigeria will definitely be going to every World Cup app from 2026. Uh oh, how we'll did you reach we'll that conclusion? <laughs> <laughs> we'll always get to qualify. That uh, I know, but there are some countries that will always definitely not go. What happened to you in 2006? I, at that time, that's what, it's just one. I mean, in a group, you have how many teams? Come on, just one. If just you don't like prepare that. well, if only one team, just there are over 200 countries in FIFA. So if you don't prepare so, well, and some other countries something. are doing what they need to Nigeria do, Nigeria is a big nation. You'll miss out. That's why it's twenty six. Nigeria will be in every world. Of course, first. Uh, I mean, first place and runner up. Come on, first okay. to second. We can't. Because it's Nigeria. Don't look at Nations Cup. I know you're going it's to okay. that. No, I'm not even talking about that. Let's move on with the show now. Tire silly season upon us. You know where uh, we hear all sorts. Some of them true. Some you need to confirm others. You just need to wait. Morgan Schneider. I thought when he was leaving Southampton in yes. 2015 uh, to Manchester United, I questioned it. Like, come on, there's something about just living a club that is just doing so well and you're performing well and going on to a big stage. Now he's leaving Manchester United to Everton. Yeah, I mean, I wonder why, question, why you question why you questioned that move. Yeah, because place. I just felt it wasn't ready for oh. Manchester United. I don't okay. think he was really ready okay. for the well, big stage. You know, the, you know, the, you know what the media okay, does. Okay, should be ready when you have right. one good season. Listen, it's, it's, you have one good season, yes. and then everybody believes you can play for Real Madrid. Yeah, and it's usually not that way. It doesn't work that doesn't way. Work that you way. need to look at yourself again. Can I sustain this performance that I did? Oh, okay. Um, I'm leaving Southampton, maybe Tottenham, maybe um, this Everton, you know, so yeah, we can we can look at you some more. Yeah, Not in no, Manchester United. Disagree with you. I mean, that was just 2015. Yeah. Mm. It was 25 I mean, at that time. Yeah, put yourself yeah. in his position. Ah, uh, your 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 player. You've had a decent season with Southampton. Mm. Manchester United mm. come calling. For 25 are you, million pounds. Are you going to turn it down? Or would you say, okay, I am good enough to play for this massive club? That's and what you they, give it a shot. That's and what that's what he's done. That's what they go through all the time. And most times, yeah. even when the player looks at himself and say, Can I have the same season? Can I face the competition at Manchester United? He wants to go back, pray about it, think. Parents call up and they go to my you. Agents go to exactly. my you. And then, so more often than not, they decide to make that so decision. So they play the sort of football expecting that man Unfortunately, it hasn't panned out really well for uh, Morgan Schneidlin mm. ever since, you know, signing for uh, Manchester United. I mean, this season is featured about three, four times alone. Mm. Not good enough. And yeah. for a player of his age, it's, he, needs, he needs games. Yeah. That's very crucial for uh, Morgan Schneidlin, Schneidlin. And that's why he decided, you know, to move on this time around. So it looks like he's on his way to Everton. <laughs> We hear, according to Sky sources, um, they say a deal of um, 22 million pounds has been reached uh, for Morgan Schneidling uh, to depart Old Trafford. Um, I think this is a good move because he goes back, he, re he reunites um, with um, the coach that was with him when they were in Southampton. That's right, Ronald Kuma. Mm -hmm. So perhaps uh, Ronald Kuma will be able to get the best out of uh, Morgan Schneidling uh, again. That's right. Yeah, that's 22. Right. I think that's, that's what good. it is. That's a good one. Mm. Yeah, mm. good move, right? Mm. Yeah, I think so. You get to play more games and more football. I think maybe Manchester United, uh, who's field is kind of choked. And yeah. And they're not even fitting.
I mean, it's interesting because um, some people feel, place, yeah, so. Schweinsteiger can't even get a game. Yeah. Uh, people feel like the likes of Fellaini shouldn't be playing ahead of Schneidlin. <laughs> but we're not the coach. The coach yeah. sees these guys. He loves, yeah. he loves Fellaini. He loves like, Fellaini and he doesn't love. the chemistry and the energy. And the energy between those two guys, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> because he's a hard worker. So Justin will yeah. always love a player who is definitely hard working and also know how to talk. Very well. Mm -hmm. When I meet tackle, I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, so. legal, legal, legal. I said tackle. Uh, yeah, because I, I know where you're going. Mm -hmm. Just tackle. <laughs> That's so, Morgan Schneider gets to leave um, Manchester United uh, for Everton. I like the kind of player he is. I love the progress he was making, but when you're not playing football, you just have to leave. To move and he has him. done so, the right thing by going to his former coach that understands his style of play. Exactly. He might just help you reach within his career. Exactly. Now, Schneider, don't run to Barcelona. Oh, <laughs> don't worry about it after a good season. After one you, good season. You will see the game on the bench. Let's get on with the show now. I'll keep telling you that it's an action pack. So, so from football, uh, we go to Co we we'll go to golf. Uh, Rory McRoy, you know him, model for golf. Uh, he says, I'll keep my promise. I'll be coming for the South African Open this week. Tayo, Cecilia, this is what we keep talking about. When you are a multi sport nation, it's an all round developmental concept and it's win win. McRoy will come to South Africa. Incredible. The top golfers in the world will be at the South African Open. Imagine that. Sweet. Imagine that, right? Wow. The world number two golfer wow. coming to South Africa mm. uh, for a tournament. I mean, that's remarkable. And apparently, um, any else was the player who stopped the competition, was able to you know, get this out of him. It's a favor for a favor. Mm -hmm. uh, that's how they do business sometimes in, in the world of sports uh, because Rory McIlroy uh, was able to get any else to come and feature at the Irish Open some time ago. And this is payback time for uh, Rory McIlroy. You know, for me, Austin, uh, the PGA Tour started already. Uh, for Rory McIlroy, he didn't have the best of 2016 yeah. at all. Uh, but it still ended up as the FedEx Cup champion. He didn't mm -hmm. win a major, but I think he'll be looking to kick on uh, from where he ended the season uh, last year. So I'm looking forward to seeing some great golf, definitely. Uh, when Rory McIlroy is, is a part of the field, expect some incredible golf. So, uh, but some players, obviously, some top-ranked South African golfers who have obviously not been there. Brandon Grace, yeah. Charles Swanson, Luis Ostensen, all of them. He's skipping the events. But Nick Faldo, yeah. uh, he will definitely be making a return after two years or so. Obviously, it's going to be a tight one. And Rory McIlroy will definitely bring more excitement. Of course, to it does. So yeah. just listen to him. He's been speaking about this tournament and the value, obviously, it's going to add to the South African Open.